Hello beautiful family in the light. My name is Honey Bee and I'm here to share this quick video with you regarding the light code transmissional healing and activation that many of you have requested regarding receiving the information in, in terms of what it entails and and what you need to do to prepare in receiving this healing transmission and how to show up for the session whether it is in person or it is on Skype over the video. So I wanted to just take a few moments of first deep gratitude to each of you for your interest and second deep gratitude for the interdimensional fields as well as the various dimensional fields of consciousness that have come together in this now where the it, it holds the vibration and the frequency to help support our light body in these higher dimensional fields where the emergence of our cosmic self, our celestial self, our angelic self, our galactic self, our holy self, the source of all being that we are, is able to emerge with the human form and create this full alignment and through these codes of light. So the whole purpose of this is to release some of the debris or all of the debris, depending on the person, within these 12 chakras, because it works with the 12 chakras and the 12 DNA strands and the axitonal lines within the body, and as well as the different aspects, the different bodies of the human form. So these light codes, they're multiple dimensional a vibrational fields um, through sound and frequency, tone and pitch that they are brought through the higher fields and are brought through the transmission of those who are carriers of these light codes. And each of us, by the way, are carriers of this. Some of us are just open to them that are able to interact with them without getting in the way. And individuals like, for example, such as me who have crossed over to spirit side and have been sent back, we have a our vibration of field, field has shifted in a way in which we are able to interact with these frequencies um, quite easily without being in the way of a soul sound. So the light language is a signature of a um, universal language. It's an ancient language. It is a soul language. And on the DNA level, you know it very well. On an emotional level, sometimes there's a lot of energies in motion that are experienced with it. On the physical level, there's sometimes gestures and movements and the body starts responding. On the mental plane, sometimes it is received cognizantly, but um, some often um, the mental body cannot digest its full spectrum because it's in movement. So the light codes, when they are received, they're, they're in movement frequency. And depending on their dimensional field, whether it's fifth, sixth, seventh, or higher dimensional field, they're moving and it's kind of like it's dancing around. And when the transmitter brings them through, it goes to exactly to the area that needs to open up from its contracted space into this expansion of its unity. So as a result of it, when it's brought in, it will create impact in all the different bodies and often individual afterwards feel very light, very expanded because the field of consciousness is able to easier be experienced and the work of it is relatively quick when we work with light language because it's, it's so deep, it's so ancient and it goes to the core and it bypasses the mental mind and it does exactly what it's supposed to do with the DNA in which Many of our incarnations already know how to work with this. It is a technology within the system. So having said that, as the transmitter, what it entails is the person um, experiences clearing in all of their 12 chakras first through the light language. And there's the visualization that the person, um, let's say the client, is able to um, see and also breathe in. That's a very important part of it because it works with the 12 solar discs as well within the body. Then from there, there's a full transmission of light language and light codes 
that are then brought in and um, <clears throat> And uh, that's a fluid uh, transmission that comes in. So first the clearing is from earth plane up and then from upper plane down to earth. So it creates this fullness of the toroidal field around the individual. And uh, so everything is spinning properly in its vibrational field. So one of the things that I found is it's how incredible it feels on me, how easy it is to administer this, and also the individuals who experience it, how quickly things are um, sort of like leaving their field of consciousness because it works at a galactic speed. It's faster than the speed of light. And, uh, and there's this ancient energy that already knows how to work with this technology, so we don't really have to develop it. It's already known inside, so it makes it very easy to, um, to interact with these frequencies. Now, what happens in me is when um, the blessing is taking place for the highest good of all, and when I start going into the place of the trance and I start receiving these light codes coming in, I'm seeing them, I'm first hearing them, then I'm seeing them, then I start experiencing the movement, and they come in, I sound them out, and I speak them, and they're multiple dimensional languages. And, and often my hands are in creating the, um, the vibration field as they come in, and, um, and sometimes there are other information within that, such as specific keys for that person, or specific code, codes and keys are different. And uh, I don't know what will take place, but we'll see each person is unique and each person is honored in that place. What you need to do if you're having a session, it's just important to have your stomach um, empty about an hour before or good for five minutes before, nothing heavy in your stomach. So you can just um, be in your light body, drink a lot of water. You need a lot of water before the session after the session and the next day to help flush things out of your system. The other part is also after the session, you may be very light, very joyful, very excited, or you may be very tired because suddenly now you have to ground into this energy field. So it's important to give your body the rest that you need if that is what's going to take place to you. And um, following up with that, recognizing all the different just like majority of the sessions paying attention to wow like all these different synchronicities in your life that are part of this and you generally you start seeing like the ease and flow within your life and everything else that is coming up to be in the vibration alignment with your true essence so hopefully this explains what this healing is i had been waiting for a year and a half to receive the go, to be able to finally start um, facilitating this in the uh, in-person session or on Skype or in a group setting. Um, but when people come here, if they're in person, they get to be on our healing room. We have pyramid, we have crystals, we have grids there, it's just a whole lot more. And if it's on Skype, it's incredibly beautiful and we just ask for it to be in a very gentle safe space and no problem there's no restrictions around this and um, the only the only times I will not do this is for individuals who are taking antipsychotic medication or they are on chemotherapy or under radiation treatment or even they're pregnant as well as um, they have pacemaker in their heart those are the cases that I will not administrate this as that's, that's just my own personal guidance with it. So if I can be of service for you, please uh, message me, email me via email, honeybee, H-O-N-I-B, 1111 at gmail.com. And I look forward to seeing you, and I look forward to administrating at different um, studios and centers that are ready for these light codes. And what happens in a group setting when these come in, they start working, working within the fields, within the grids of this um, higher vibrational consciousness. And it supports everybody because it is of support for the cities of light. And this is continuing devotion and commitment of my work on the planet. So not much different, just this one happens to be 
being able to uh, administrate them, facilitate them in this way, because I've been doing a lot of sound frequency with sound bowl and crystals and uh, my drum and all of that. This one requires none of them. So all the sound is my own voice box. So I've become the voice box <laughs> of the transmission. So it's an honor. It's a pleasure privilege and I'm looking forward to being able to serve you in this way because the vibration of field around the planet now holds it and if you go to my YouTube channel for the uh, for the winter equinox you get to see when Michael and I had our tea time ascension talk there was a group working with the light codes with the stargate coming in but there's a bit of that in there this one's slightly different but there's a bit of that that you get a chance to feel um, sort of like the vibration for it. So thank you so much for tuning in and much love and blessings to you. And please know everything is already within you. I'm only a small little assistant along the way. As you unlock these within you, more is available to you. So thank you so much. Aho namaste. En la kesh banura esh. Haush haush and lots of blessings from the depth of my heart and my inner light codes to yours and the cosmic, galactic, celestial, angelic earth codes as we get to interact with these together as one. Thank you. Thank you.